and that's the important thing. That is why it's so important to yeah. collaborate with other survivors. Collaborate, have a therapist, have a coach, have somebody in your corner who has lived experience in this because the things that happen are so insanely unbelievable. And hold on to the evidence trail, right? A person has to hold well, on I'm to- I'm starting to let go of the evidence trail. Oh, there were okay. years of active abuse where I always had an evidence trail. And I, I it was an a interesting thing about me. I would have bosses way back in my like early 20s and my boss would go like, can you just get to the point? Like, what are you trying to tell me? And I used to be like, kind of hurt or offended. I didn't understand it. Here I am, 30 years later in <laughs> therapy. Hey, Patamos, here, 30 years later in therapy. And I'm like, I, I go, you know, something about the evidence trail. I have to have that in order for, you know, basically have a normal conversation with a narcissist. Like, what about, what do you want for dinner? You know, yeah. and why well, yeah. bought these things for groceries? I want chicken. No, you said tofu. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it came out that in and, and the next thing you know, you're going out to eat <laughs> yeah, <pretty laughs> because much. you just finally submit and go well, like, no, you know what? I don't care. Money. Just order a pizza. Just, I don't care. That would cost I'm money, sorry. and we're not going to yeah. do that. Okay. Um, you were saying no, the evidence. It's just that it, it was just the evidence trouble. It was so important to your keeping your sanity around abusive, dominant personalities. But when you start to heal. And you realize, oh, wait, that's an evidence trail. Why am I, you know, toting along this invisible and sometimes like real evidence trail to every interaction I'm having? Yeah. That is me living in defense mode. That is me never settling into who I am, yeah. never being validated in who I am, right, never right. being worthy. So we want to, you know, when we start to recognize that that's what we're doing, it's, it's, it's okay. First of all, you need to realize that's okay because being exactly where you're at is perfectly yes. fine. Yes. And there is no time frame on waking up, on realizing, on yeah. uh, starting a path of healing. It took me, you know, better part of a decade mm -hmm. to, of, of waking up and three years of that actioning, right? So you can only do what you can do. And that evidence and trail may okay. have been the the water or the H2O to keep you from being emotionally dehydrated so you can keep your sanity. So, so we got to get so to that point where the evidence trail damage. is not necessary. How, how, is that, how is that done? Because I, I know somebody's going to write me and ask me that if we, if we don't ask that now. How <laughs> does a person just, get to that point? Just, just time really really okay. doing a lot of deep work you have to get to a point where you you do not need others validation of what you're doing of the life you're living and i'll tell you right now if your bucket of love is so far upside down it's like literally uh, yeah. you can hear the wind whistling through <laughs> it <right? Yeah. laughs> and there's, and no, hole. there's there. no holes it just wasn't even right. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't right there it just doesn't even exist it, until you you patch that up and until you start actually filling it with self-love and self-validation, self-affirmation. Self self right. Right. Yes. Yeah. And where you don't feel guilty or ashamed of it. Mm -hmm. it, it. As soon as you start doing that a teeny bit, we're talking, this is like a course, a guided course over months, again, with a, a, a coach, a therapist, depending on your need and, and a responsible ethical coach. If they're, if they're coaching you and they're like, oh, you need a lot more work than a coach. I'm not trained for this. An ethical coach will refer oh, gotcha. you to a gotcha. therapist, okay. yeah. right? So it's really important. If you feel like you're mm -hmm. not getting anywhere with a coach, you're mm -hmm. not with the right person. And, you're not with the right program. What are some things to be mindful of if somebody mm -hmm. gets a coach and that coach is not really uh, taking them to the levels that they need to move to? So it, it, um, within a coaching session, like you should have one session where you're just like, oh, are we even compatible? <laughs> like, yeah. just, can we get along? Yeah, yeah. Or, you know what I mean? one another, they let you win. That yeah. Kind of stuff. <laughs> so there should be like a session of, like hey, and they let you win. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe a little conversation around the checkers yeah, and definitely yeah, coffee and tea. Right, right, right. But, you need to have, first you need to have that initial, like that intake conversation to see if this is even 
um, a, a relationship that's viable because sometimes you might meet somebody and you might go like I might meet somebody and go, you know, you'd be much better suited with my business partner than me. And here's okay. why. Mm -hmm. Could you have the same conversation with them, you know, through through the scope of the two of you? So first, there should be that conversation with a coach. And then if you decide to move forward and you go into a coaching program should really last somewhere between six and, you know, maximum eight weeks for a goal. So by the first real right. session that you have, the first paying session, you should be working on, uh, you know, kind of the groundwork between the first two sessions of, of forming a goal. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, if we think about that one goal, like say that your goal is boundaries, then within the rest of that six to seven, maximum eight week time frame, you should get out of there feeling like I've got some tools. Mm -hmm. We've evidenced I have these tools and I yeah. can I can evidence growth. So along about week four, we should be checking in on growth. So your coach should be number first and foremost on your team, yeah. right? Because if your coach isn't on your team, you don't have the right coach, right? Yeah. And you can, you can kind of judge that by like, how's my body feel? How does my authentic self feel? Do I feel empowered? Do I feel um, championed? Do I feel challenged? Because feeling challenged is good, but, it, but do I feel shamed in my challenge? Do I feel judged in my challenge? Those are things that, do I feel negative in my challenge? Do I feel like if I, can I talk about anything with this person, coach or therapist? Mm -hmm. I, was, I was terrified the first time I went to certain conversations with my therapist. Yeah. And you, you know what? She looked at me and she didn't judge me or shame me, right? I'd only ever been exposed to people with judge and shame. So when she didn't do that, it opened the floodgates of me understanding what an authentic person sitting in front of me looked like it shifted entirely those troll people at the beginning that i allowed yeah. through the gate so your coach really should be in every aspect somebody that you can say anything to and brings the ethical boundaries of a professional partnership to you that means that um okay. when you're in that position you get nothing but love across the screen. Ju Ju is it Julie it. or Jules? Is that it? Joel? Jules is Julie. Ju Julie. So Julie's getting love from, from Patmos, and Patmos is giving love to everybody. Thank and you, guys. He says, uh, you're absolutely give a great point. That's brilliant. <laughs> uh, see, I told you, see, you, you've you got nothing but love across the screen. Everyone's learning from everyone else. They're all talking to each mm -hmm. other. They don't even need us at all. So we could glad. leave, and they're just talking to each other. That's but what the I power gonna... of the conversation in these things. Huh? What was that? The power of the conversation yeah. well, in you know, Alive is the, right there. The direction mm -hmm. that you've given us to look at and to, to see is something, it's like you're taking us on your journey. Uh, not yeah. just the journey you've already done, but the one that you're, you're doing right now with your therapist and uh, you yeah. as, a, as a coach. Uh, everybody's giving you thumbs up and they're, they're all clapping. Thank uh, you. but, uh, just the love, uh, that you have for, for others. Um, there's a lot of people who missed out on that when you were dealing with a narcissistic abusive person. But, uh, right now people like myself who just get to meet you and haven't met you face to face in person would love to get the joy of being able to. I would love to be your neighbor one day because you're just an oh. awesome go-getter type of a person. <laughs> Thank you. But I think you've opened up a few doors today that I know I'm going to get some people to write me on. The evidence trail, uh, speaking your truth mm -hmm. and uh, recognizing when the narcissistic person comes back and acts like nothing happened. Uh, people oh, write me about a lot of this you've been talking about. It's like ding, <laughs> ding, ding, ding. And so Well, they'll, I, they'll resonate with it. They lift it. Yes. They will. Yeah. I have to ask you this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got to read what's on the screen before I keep going. I'm watching that and I'm talking to you at the same time. It says her point makes sense so much. This is Patmos. She's amazing with her words. That's an understatement you, about uh, both of those, but that's a, a great point that he's making. Uh, Shay Shay uh, gives you some love too. Uh, Shay, you, Shay Shay 3178. Thank you for being here. Uh, I love the support uh, you that you give much. to the channel, both of the channel. Yeah. Um, I have to ask That's you about wonderful. this. Yeah. Was there a, was there a moment <clears throat> in dealing with your therapist and just living life?
that it became clear that people were not battling for the same thing that you were battling for. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, like a did billion you, moments. Did, did you wait? Did you? <laughs> I'm just curious. Uh, be careful what I'm going to say here. So, did you? No, don't be careful. No, no, okay. no. I'm talking about myself. So, did you? Are <laughs> <laughs> you talking about you? Are you talking about you? Okay. okay. Uh, but talking with you is just like when we did the show. I'll just talk to you. But I'm. I'm i This is a, a show, and and it's about you. But I'm. I'm going to highlight something. Yeah. When you had that moment, and it became clear that you were dealing with some people that had no desire uh, to mm -hmm. battle for what you were battling for. How did you react to that, and how did you then live your life from that moment on? Well, it's a pro it's a it's a progressive change. I mean, mm -hmm. quite on quite honestly, when I when before I entered therapy, I was very much and there's no shame in this because you the word victim is created for a reason, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no shame when you're in that space of being a victim of narcissistic yeah. abuse, mm -hmm. and just getting your feet under you and realizing that you can begin that step of healing from the abuse that you have suffered. And that, that abuse can be really vile and disgusting things. Mine dates all the way back into childhood and sexual abuse as a child oh, mm -hmm. and stuff that was never, never dealt with. No, no never addressed, never dealt seven with seven or six, seven, eight year old yeah. um, sexually abused. So, so there is a lot of stuff packed inside this woman yeah. mm -hmm. that had to have some help so being comfortable within whichever space that you're at allows you to take on whatever your therapist is introducing to you because there are a lot of ideas that are introduced to you now my therapist tells me all the time and she has from like month one that she's never in 31 years of practice, 32 years, she has never had a client want to heal like I have and, and just literally take whatever she tells me, mm -hmm. I'm going to take it and I'm going to apply it and heal from it. So really it's, it's a progression and it didn't hit like I had a therapy session on Tuesday mm -hmm. and I sat down with the week's problems <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and I have four kids. I have a settlement divorce in, in uh, process. I am trying to refinance a house that's in disrepair. I, 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 right? There's this yes, massive yes, list. Right, right, right. And I come in with all of the, the big problems and I put them all in front of her and I say, okay, this is where I'm at. This is what I'm going to do. Blah, 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 blah. And she goes, wow, where'd you come from? <laughs> there's not a part of you uh, you're you're sitting here yeah. it, like, it's like it clicked to a deeper level even just this week i have you know just because this person says no that's not going to work well there's 800 other options out yeah. there so instead of yeah, me catastrophizing absolutely. to the end yeah. i am just going to start working the problem working each tiny little problem but it has taken years of intentional laborious work to do that now not everybody has my story my hurt my damage somebody else might be able to get to that point in you know a, yeah. a course a shorter period work. of time right yes yeah but um for me it has just been this very slow progression and then this kind of tightening up the last six months mm -hmm. it has just been like massive massive because I spent a year doing, well, more than a year, um, but doing foundational building that I'd never had, creating Nita, finding mm -hmm. Nita right, right, out of right. darkness. And now it's just fine to me. So there was a moment where I kind of wanted to slide down into the like, well, this person did this and this person did that back into that victim yeah, mindset. Right, right. Mm -hmm. But the healed me was like, that's not going to get you anywhere. You got things to do, mm -hmm. woman. <laughs> so... So it, it, I was, it was easy to turn off because I, I just was able to click into a tool set that I have worked really hard to bring to my forefront. Those but things that you had to do come those, together. Those things that you had to do and like, you know what? Okay, come on. There's stuff you got to get done instead of, yeah. instead of just going down the ditch of victimhood and, and wallowing in that. What were some of the things you felt you needed to get done? Before children were counting on you, other family members were counting on you. What was on your mind that made you, well, 
that that made you soldier up and go like, okay, I got to keep going forward? Well, it always goes back to your original why. So on on my web page, and I was just doing web work this week, so this is really fresh in my mind. I was scrolling down thinking, do I want to change this? Do I want to change that? And I came across, yeah. what is your why? And there's a picture of my children and I. And my why has not changed from day one of breaking okay. a cycle of domestic abuse. Got it. Now, it doesn't matter who the abuser is. My why is the same. I will not. I will not leave my children unhealed. I will not. And I have gone through some really yeah. ugly things to, you know, sometimes... Uh, you know, force my hand to get teenage children into therapy. Not anymore. Now they drive themselves, but mm. it is non-negotiable. So my why has never changed and tapping always, always when I have a dark moment, tapping back into why am I doing this hard work? Mm. If your why is your action, like truly your actioning why, it will always light a fire under you and it will always push you to the difficult mm -hmm. healing that you yeah. might need to be doing. You are and will always be, <laughs> and today is the first day I saved it. I saved it. We have went 45 minutes and going on 55 oh, seconds. Baby. And here I can fast. finally say what I've been holding <laughs> and did not say to you from the show prep we did from the very beginning. You are an emotional excavator. You oh. are a person who will make sure that everyone's emotions are to the best that they can be, but you will not yeah. tolerate people, uh, well, ignoring and disregarding you and disrespecting your emotions. So yeah. I know you want to say something. I know you want to say <laughs> No, something. I was just going to put an any more because I used to do that. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> you're <funny. laughs> so, so, so you're, you and, and your children are getting the healing because you're just the pit bull when it comes to emotions and everyone having the best emotional foundation and base that they can. Okay. That's, that's all. I'm not going to keep going, but I do have to read some and I know you may want to say some, but I and go ahead and say it, but I got to no, read, I got to read, no, I got to read. No, yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. We won't have a show, but what I was going to say, <laughs> here, here we go. <laughs> so, uh, I mentioned to you, Pat Moe said, I love, uh, each uh, of her words and a lot of her posts. Uh, they are real. Okay. That is, a, that is again, he says some really great words. You are you are truly authentic and real, and uh, there is no hiding behind the curtain with you. And I like that. Any type of her situ any type of her situation. This is also on the screen. Uh, if anybody's confused, first time passing through. Yes, I have monitors around me. I can see here in the studio, and I can also look at my guests. So don't think I'm ignoring her. Any type of her situation wasn't that easy, and she talking about you has improved so much and love her adorable smile. Isn't that smile something with her? I told her she can go make some money with <laughs> yeah. that, man. She can be like, be the, you can be the, the toothpaste girl. Uh, when, given a, when given a point, uh, he's highlighting. Uh, Julie says that you are amazing, Nita, because you are sharing and supporting others whilst also healing. Uh, that's, uh, yes, that's why I bring her back, man. I'm telling you, I, I bring her back just to put her in this situation <laughs> because I know you won't beat around the bush. Uh, I do it, but nobody wants to watch me talk talk the way you talk. You, you do a great job. Oh, uh, that's what Jules said. So do you. Um, you're right. Absolutely, she is. Pat Most jump, jumped on that and said the same. By the way, welcome to a Humble Counseling, who is here. Um, uh, Humble Counseling mentions they love the realness, too. Uh, if any of these people are your friends, by all means, let me know. But uh, thank you for Hi. everybody coming to support uh, this, uh, this show, uh, as well as... Pat Most. And Julie. Yeah. yeah thank you and thank for you for supporting. Um, for everybody. <laughs> and thank you for supporting Nita, too. I'm getting choked up already. <clears throat> Anyhow, so what I was going to say is. Uh, <laughs> We've only Shay -Shay. begun the battle, Shay -Shay. Paxton. <laughs> yeah, no. Shay Shay, thank you so much. Uh, she's telling you, uh, Nita. Thank oh. you, Nita. And of course, thank you, Paxton. You're so kind, thank Shay Shay. Shay. Uh, everybody, don't forget you can go like, comment, share, follow. <laughs> like, comment, share, follow Nita's page. Nita can be find, found in multiple locations. I'm just going to say that. Uh, where can people <laughs> find you if they want to talk to you about coaching, if they want to talk to you personally, or any of the above? Nita, what is your page? So I have lots of pages. You can always, <laughs> the DM lines are always open at the letter U. So it's U R U Connection Coaching. So letter U, letter R, letter U, which actually is like, hey, you are you you get to be you that's what our hey, coaching yo. is about 
creating, finding, helping you embody you. I have created my initial journey became um, really solidified early on in therapy under a glimpse into the moment where I have a podcast and a page that is helping male and female abuse survivors get back out into the world, thrive through a community platform. Yeah. And then um, we have created whatsup.org, which is an organization where we are normalizing mental health conversations because I have a mental illness. I have PTSD, which is a very low spectrum mental illness. But when people talk about, there's so much shame around mental health, mental illness, uh, mental trauma. Mm -hmm. If you break your wrist or your arm, people are holding the door open for you. Yeah. But if you have yeah. an invisible uh, right. mental health whole you know, other depression, story. Yeah. it's a whole different story. So we are working hard at whatsup.org, W-A-T-Z-U-P.org to normalize mental health conversations. And then we are coaching athletes and their mental fitness in their game and how they apply that to their daily life on Team Sherudo. And give us all a follow over on Instagram. From there, you can find our web pages and our podcasts. If by any chance you can't find them, I just know that my good friend here will go into the comments once I upload this show. And drop all that knowledge and information because uh, the audience, they love that. They're addicted to it, actually. Uh, anytime somebody <laughs> on the show starts putting in information. Uh, I had somebody, they had a book that's coming out like next year sometime. And they just, all they did that's is type in there, hey, look out for my book next year. And then people just start getting on there and talking about, I'll pre-order it. And it was like, that was just so cool. Uh, so they wait to hear that's from so the guests. Awesome. Uh, it's, it's kind of become a huge billboard for people that come on the show to, to come over to the page and, and post whatever they want. Uh, when they do a so show good. so feel Those free to do that conversations after after lives are oh terrific. they're 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 priceless they 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 really are yeah. you know as you speak i just love it you start talking and people just keep writing things i uh, i've got to read it to you i hope i hope uh she uses her situation to inspire others pat Mo says mm -hmm. and encourage others the more she becomes she does so uh, happier in life both inside and outside uh, you're Sorry. getting so much love. This group conversation is remarkable you, and well uh, inductive uh, or educative. I, uh, either way it goes, I appreciate the compliment. This is this is the basis of why I wanted you back. Go ahead. You were going to say Thank something. Thank you. I was just going to give Padmos a shout out because he is an incredibly inspirational, high-level soccer player, athlete. Just his passion for the game, passion on the ball, his ability and skill set is phenomenal. But his motivational and mental um, positivity is really, truly something for people to go and follow. It, 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 Patamos, shout out to you. That is, he's, that is awesome. He's very, very infectious personality. Th these, are, these are the type of people, like yourself, but as you describe uh, this wonderful man, um, <laughs> please, <laughs> uh, he's so kind. Uh, I'm a mystery. I just read what he wrote. <laughs> Uh, he said, please, sir, can I know your name? I love your deep, deep support. You are, you're, man, way to make a chocolate man blush. Thank you very much. Um, so uh, the name is Paxton, P-A-X-T-O-N. Uh, I am just a mystery, the star of the day, the diva of the day, uh, who's going to make me laugh if she keeps laughing, is uh, Nita. But thank you for the kind words. Um, this, this show you're that we're... You're a very good host, Paxton. This, <laughs> well... It's easy when you, you have are. awesome guests. You're so kind. Thank oh, you so much. You. Um, so I want uh, this to continue uh, another time. We're going to uh, bring the show to an end right now, but I want you, in front of everyone, I will say it, I want you to be able to fit me in your schedule <laughs> before the year is up because you have so much going on. I, I don't, I'm waiting for you to start a, a marketing company on the side because you should do that too. You're just really good. You have great I ideas. Actually, you have, oh my goodness, don't go down to you. I'm are. not. So they can connect with individuals like yourself. I like the fact that somebody's saying uh, concerning you, uh, the, the, the woman of all, all women, inspirational Nita, thank you. They're telling you thank you. Uh, thank you. Have a good thank night, uh, Pat Most. Uh, thank you for the sweet. kindness and uh, thank you for uh, what you're thank saying. You. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, get some good rest so that you can wake up tomorrow and inspire somebody else. Um, you, on the other hand, have started all this that I see flowing across the screen. And the streams of hearts that have been endless uh, since you have yeah, been here sweet. is because you are, connecting, so you are connecting with people. 
Um, I want to ask you this before you go. Yes. There are moments that are challenging. It's your show, ask away. There, but, no, it's not my show. Don't even try. <laughs> don't even try to go there. So, when you show up, it's not my show. Trust me. Of all people, when you show up, I know it's not my show. You're kind enough to stop talking so I can get a word in. So, <laughs> okay, Jules has to go. Jules, we'll see you later. We're going to end the show. Um, you're only going to miss me rambling toward the end and, and the beauty of uh, my, my guest here. But thank you, Jules. Uh, please tell a friend, hashtag everybody, tell a friend about this platform yeah. and uh, uh, tell others that want to be on this platform to contact me. Um, okay, you and I, we had a conversation uh, before we did this show uh, about a week or so ago, or thereabouts. Yeah. And you had a rough day, day. Uh, and you still really you still day. talk with me. I, I just thought that was you were very you were very gracious uh, to still talk with me and be so <laughs> frank and honest. Uh, where most people were like, I can't talk today, Paxton. Um, you were kind oh, enough never do that. to talk with me, and then once we were done, and then uh, I had to get through cry crying because you made me cry. Um, oh, so. God. <laughs> and, and I had to say a few prayers in your in your behalf. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, but thank you. Uh, I'm just no, no. I don't say I got kind power. Of joking, I didn't not say joking. my I didn't say my prayers have any power. I just said <laughs> no, I'm joking. All I'm just prayers joking. have no, power. No, I know they do. I'm All just positive with energy I'm has just, power. I'm just messing with you. Um, so anyhow, um, I want you to know I truly appreciate what you did that day, and uh, your your frankness and your honesty is is no doubt rewarded by the amount of blessings that you receive in, in ways uh, that maybe you see or don't see, but more importantly, the way you have these individuals talking about you. Yeah. These people are thinking this way about you, my friend, even when you were going through what you were going through. Yeah. Every moment of pain that has been visited upon your path of existence is getting squeezed out by people like this. Yeah. You know, you know that. But what's so interesting is sometimes we can forget it. Sometimes we we can forget it because we have built up survival techniques to protect ourselves against people who are out to hurt us, or the pain starts to come back uh, to us. You are a person who is to be reckoned with because you are relentless on caring for those who you love, and those who you meet, and those who you know. You need to treat a certain way so that they can get the treatment they need. So I just want you to know, and I want all of social media to know, they need to, the normal social media thing, like comment, share, follow your page, that's one thing. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, they need to spend time with you and get to know you. You're a very good woman. Just mm -hmm. old-fashioned, plain old-fashioned, just a good woman who has been thrown off the horse or pulled off the horse a few times. And it's nice to mm -hmm. see you have your own saddle. And you've got your own little blanket. <laughs> you got back on that puppy, and you know how to navigate it around the knuckleheads that can come across your path. You are an inspiration, but more importantly than that, you are a person to be admired because, well, you really love life. I do. You I do. honestly do. I told you, when, when we talked that last time, and you know how that was kind of, you, you had a rough day. And we were talking, and I'm watching you. Day. And you, yeah, I know. I'm being exactly nice. Why, but it was yeah, I didn't, okay, don't do it because we're going to end the show. Because we, <laughs> <we're just> gonna, <laughs> no, because we, were, I was going to get into it, but I said no, I better not because we would keep no, going. No, you can. No, I know we can, but, but I'm I know. Not but going you're, you're ending. <laughs> I, gotta, I know. I gotta, I gotta go. But what I was going to say is, we need to. <laughs> people need to know that they can get back on the horse again of life. Oh yes. And and yes. and the saddle that was given to them doesn't mean they have to keep it. They can get a new one. No. They can yeah. totally have their own horse and take care of their life the way they need to, even when life is challenging. So I appreciate you. You're getting so much. Okay, guys, I got to end the show. So anytime, <laughs> any day, we are behind you. And also to share oh, your live videos. Thank, thank you, you very much. That goes for both of us. She's more than a woman. Um, I'm sorry, but the BG said it right about you then. More than a woman. <laughs> yeah, I better stop singing. All right. All right. Listen. I will have to look at that um, song. I, thank I, you so much. I like thank you, you so much. Thank keep you, up Julie, the good work. Yes. <laughs> He's not, listen, they're not thank stopping. We have to me. stop because they just keep going. Dude, what they're saying it's, about it's, you. <laughs> well, it's, it's, well, yeah. It's, it, Patamos is an amazing individual. And when you yeah. find your tribe, your tribe shows up and they don't let go. Yes, of, that's true. Of true. being a part of your champion yeah. system. And that is evidenced clearly here today. 
Yeah. And that is why I, I do work so incredibly hard because I do have an, amount, an immense passion for life and for yes, living. Mm -hmm. And I want everybody to experience that. We all have the right to experience that. Yes. We all have the right to experience having people like Padmas and Paxton in our corner. Yeah. And you're, that is powerful. You're kind. You cannot make me blush. You must stop. Great show. Thank you both, Vita. <laughs> uh, it's amazing. Uh, leave underscore no underscore contact underscore go underscore go. I just can't stop it. I'm gonna. I'm never gonna stop doing that. Um, thank you for the kind words for both of us, my friend. Let's say goodbye to everybody for now. Bye for now, everybody from Bye, Nita everybody. and Paxton. The Nita and Paxton show is now thank coming you. to an end. Pebbles is still going. <laughs> so just, uh, thank you, my friend. We love you very much. Uh, each and every one of we love you, my friend. Please stay safe, yeah. and I will talk to you again soon. And tell John he's on my list now. He's on my radar. I will. I want, I want, I want to do something with him and both of you. And we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, Take care. He would Bye, love everybody. that. Oh, I would Bye. love it too. We'll see you. Bye for now. <laughs> Bye.